forcibly converted and married Pakistani girl to return to parents. On December 22nd, 14 year old Aruz Fatima, a Christian girl who was kidnapped and forcibly married to a Muslim man, agreed to return to her parents. She has been away from her parents for over a year. Raja Masi, Aru's father, uh, filed a police report saying she was kidnapped on October 13th, 2020. The police found that Aruz had been married to a 44-year-old man, Syed Ali Azhar, who presented a Muslim marriage certificate. However, the certificate was invalid as Aruz was below the legal age of marriage, which is 16 years old in Pakistan. Initially, she did not want to return to her parents and was kept in a shelter. Eventually, she filed an application to be returned to her parents, but she has declared that she wants to remain a Muslim. Her parents have agreed to her request. Azhar, who had sexual relations with Aruz, is out on bail now. Aruz's parents, Aruz's parents' attorney, uh, Gibran Nasir, uh, is currently working to prosecute Azhar under the Sindh Child Marriage Restraint Act and RAPE laws. So I wanted to cover this story because when Aruz was first kidnapped, this was a huge story that got international attention and we talked about it. And this is a major update. It was a huge Mm. fight to get her away from her quote unquote husband. Why doesn't she want it to originally didn't want it to go back? Um, So that's not entirely clear she they she just refused to go back and so right now they she is allowed to go back she applied to go back to her parents and she is allowed to remain with her parents on the condition that they let her remain a muslim Mm -hmm. is this a case of the stockholm syndrome or situation because she was kidnapped right yes so why was she wanting to if you're kidnapped and then have the option to leave, why would you initially choose to stay? So is it Stockholm? Hmm. You know, we're not psychiatrists. We yeah, can't we diagnose someone. Even if we were qualified professionals, we can't diagnose someone we never worked with, right? So you know, that just that disclaimer. Um, I would say yes, maybe not Stockholm syndrome is where you um, sympathize with your abuser with your kidnapper, your hostage shaker. Um, I would say this is more in line with just like generalized brainwashing and thought reform. Um, And or um, she knows that if she were to leave Islam, she would be considered apostate and subject to violence because this has happened to many girls who were minors from um, religious minority communities who were kidnapped and when they returned they tried to leave islam and there were attempts to murder them like Mm. abuse their family burn their households and run them out of town because after Mm. they, they left this person who kidnapped them um uh, involuntarily had sex with them. I'm using that language because YouTube is sensitive about the R word. Um, you know, all that when they finally get free and they're like, I don't want to be a Muslim. They are, there's a witch hunt from the community, even though technically according to law in the province or maybe the nation in general, my understanding is that there are ways in which you can like, um, legally annul your conversion if it's found it's under wrong circumstances which we would of course say it is but whether or not you have the legal capability to get your conversion annulled um you know do we believe the community surrounding them is going to treat it that way given given the temperature at the moment in the country i'm not inclined to say so so that's part of my thought process as well it's like she she might yeah. just be aware of the threats against her if she were to do this. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we don't know, but but that's a good, you know, theory. Um, okay, but Mother Earth in the Life is saying, why is the R word banned? It's not banned. We just get um, certain words just makes your video even more so. Sub- All the topics that we're covering makes YouTube consider our videos 
too controversial to suggest. So we get suppressed a lot, and that's why we can't grow. I mean, these were like before. And also, I've been swearing a lot today. So that also makes our videos suppressed. But the R word and certain other words are worse than others. So it's not like they're bad. You can say them. It's just like it just makes you very unfavorable. By the way, guys, talking about unfavorable, th th look at this. Look at the topic that we're covering. These these are important information, and we our channel never grows because of the nature of the topic that we're discussing. So please make sure that you like our videos because that feeds the algorithm. Uh, and that might actually undo some of the damage that is being done because of the nature of the topic. It, it, it really does help our channel grow if you like the video. So please make sure you hit the like button um, while you're watching. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps our channel. So thank you. What I think yeah. is ridiculous is that, well, one, when this happens to minority, like when I say minority, I mean from religious non-Muslim girls in Pakistan. And I don't know why what's going on in Sindh province, but this this is there is a particularly high prevalence in Sindh, it seems. But the burden is placed upon the families of these girls to fight a system that is completely set up to refuse them their children in justice every step of the way. Like oftentimes the police conspire with these kidnappers. They get paid off. The people get paid off to falsify birth certificates because they were claiming at first that, oh no, she's not a minor. And her parents bring the birth certificate to the police. And they're like, no, she's a freaking minor. <laughs> like, um, wow. And yeah. so th everything is stacked against them, right? So this girl, apparently she said, she, you know, after a year of pondering my life choices, you know, I've decided that I want to, um, return to my parents. And so there was a court proceeding that had to be done for this. The court ruled that she can return to her parents again on the condition that she's allowed to remain a Muslim. And then here's the kicker. This is again, placing the burden on these parents. Her parents will have to report to the local police station every three months until she turns 18. What? Yes. For the next four years, they have to go report to the police every three months. Why? Based on the way things are phrased to like make sure they're not forcing her to leave Islam. Or maybe if I'm oh, being charitable, God. maybe they want to do like a wellness check or. They, why did why? she think the parents like, why did she think the parents like criminals? It was like they lost their daughter and now they're being acted like they're being treated like they're abusing her, but they were the ones who were trying to save her. And they're very lucky to get their daughter back because we've talked about yeah. other cases where it was proven that the girl was a minor. It was proven <laughs> that it violates the laws that specifically mm. are supposed to prevent this kind of thing. And the girls are still returned to their quote unquote husbands. We've covered stories like that. What a nightmare for the parents. Like imagine your, you know, your little girl just this happening, you're losing it. And then once you actually even find her, you have lost her emotionally. Like and it's just such a god like what a mess. And even the government is not taking your side. Like it's supposed to protect you from losing your daughter like that. Unbelievable. Um, oh, by the way, um Nada who doesn't uh Nanda who in the live chat who doesn't like us very much. Is reminding all of you to do not like, okay, to do not subscribe, and to do not donate. First of all, thank you, Nanda, because you reminded me to also ask people who can to donate. Link is in the description if you want to support our channel. Make sure you do not donate. Do not donate if you are struggling financially. Please don't donate. But thank you for the reminder, uh, Nanda, for me to tell people about that. Also, Nanda um thank you for commenting because your comments is also helping us in the algorithm so i know you're not liking it but the the comment that you left is actually helping us grow as well so thank you for that right i don't know i think you played yourself right wait and then um, nanda's actually telling music guy to go unsubscribe <laughs> <laughs> and don't wow you left another comment you're also you keep helping our why are you being so generous today these comments are feeding the algorithm and is helping the channel you're helping our channel, Nanda. You, you don't like us. Why are you helping us? Stop it. Stop helping us so much. The, these Do you understand that the comments actually boost the algorithm more than the likes? The comments that you're leaving is boosting the algorithm and is helping our channel more than the likes. 
So stop helping us so much. You don't like us. You should stop helping. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I love the reverse psychology. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you, you want to highlight anything else before I get the next? What am I doing? I don't know. Shuvo saying, why Nanda redacted? Why? <laughs> 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 oh this looks crazy what is this oh my god okay so can we clap for this oh my god he's still helping us we're oh, my con yeah yes you're you're helping so so many people yes you're helping okay this is funny nanda saying armin welcome my comments helps many to unsubscribe yes i'm sure so many people are watching you and they're like we're losing subscribers because of your comments and people are like they just admire you so much and they're just listening to you Wait. people are like i was subscribed to the atheist republic until until nanda told me to unsubscribe and i love nanda so much that i have to just follow what he what he or she is saying Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.